Okay. Um. About pro choice. You have never come out and give people the choice. The only choice you give them is, okay, murder the baby or be punished for having unprotected sex. There is no choice. There is murder or a punishment. A choice would be we decide to honor God and we are growing kids in the hospital. And we already go ahead and give people vaccination by force. Reassign gender surgery by force. Well, at least the judge in Vegas are not in Texas give the, the data low control over the psychotic woman. You know, has anyone ever thought we are God or sin? Like, the whole yin yang thing makes a lot of sense. Two parties, one party good, one party evil. I mean, I don't understand how the Republicans and the Christians, why we don't honor God and girl kids in the hospital. We already feel like after you're born, you can go ahead and do whatever you want to your body. Why why before you're born, all we are doing is murdering the baby. We are not keeping it alive in the incubator, running, we might as well run experiments on Letting kids instead of just killing them. You know, we might have be able to raise super smart people that can pay for everyone to have health insurance. At the rate you're murdering the next generation, we uh, we need to start. We need to radically increase our population, or even digital copies of ourselves all running on their supercomputer. That way, we can pay for private insurance for everyone. We can have the same insurance Congress has. Medicare for all is a really horrible idea. I mean, I have Medicare, and it's just nice knowing I can go to the hospital. But it's horrible when I find out how much they will charge when I go to the hospital for stuff. It's like, I would feel much better if that one's a private company, such as what they have in Congress. They're not on Medicare in Congress. They have really good private insurance that the taxpayer pays for. Why doesn't the taxpayer have copies of themselves running on their supercomputer? It's better... Okay, the government knows everything about you already. But it's easier if you go ahead and just sue the government and have them put all your information in the same place and so they can make artificial copies of you all at the same time. Wouldn't it be a lot nicer just be sitting in a room watching yourself Playing yourself on your stems. I mean, a mixture between the real life and their supercomputer. We can we can run a thousand copies of ourselves. I mean, the, the Democrats expect you to put cameras everywhere. Oh, the camera will keep you safe. We will have we will. Just be aware, we're not going to hire anyone to record it. We're just going to record it for a future evidence when we decide we want to go against you. Well, I understand the safety. I disagree with the future evidence, except if the future evidence is making us money. You know, 
uh, and there's a lot, likely something really horrible will happen if everyone had a thousand copies of themselves. So research and stand, stay up to date on what is going on with the government. Why are we paying for a college when we can just have a, a phone connected up to the supercomputer and take our test on the supercomputer and then it will have all of our record information with this. All you have to do is show your phone when you go apply for a job. You know, you, and the fun part is by lowering the minimum wage to 10 cents, but giving everyone control of a thousand copies of yourself, you can get really high up in the amount of money you make. I mean, most companies would rather pay you a small minimum wage to have you help and have your personality for when they talk to you and when they when the artificial intelligence coffee you talk to other artificial intelligence and you're discussing stuff and the work you know physically you don't have to be somewhere we came up with a phone we came up with a video phone how do you know if you're not talking to an artificial copy of yourself on a stupid computer? I mean, we have the voice of God technology. We can transmit stuff into people's minds. We have we can have a cell phone that connected to the stupid computer that will transfer the information directly to your mind when you tell it. You have your own personal super computer. Look up any information about the government, about time travel. Because you figure, you know, well, uh, time travel has to be probable. Because things are changing. As, well, I think that slowed down. But I've. Uh, for a while, there'd be a, a lot of different, man, what we call Mandela effect. You know, it's supposedly a rumor, uh, you know, a conspiracy. But most conspiracies I see are just, they need more research done by the person because our main dream media will not do the research. That's why I want a thousand copies of myself. Uh, my own army of digital reporters. I I am the news. I, I cannot trust the people that you see on TV. I mean, I don't even pay for television anymore. I can say to play with money, why are you giving your money to millionaires who are trying to push socialism, thinking it will help other lower class? It will actually cause more problems for the lower class. The super wealthy love socialism because they keep all the money and the people on the bottom suffer. I, I want... Instead of taxing the rich, I want to make everyone the opportunity to be super rich really easy. Why don't you have a thousand copies of yourself? You go register for the government, and the government takes your basic information. You get your biometrics, like if you were to get a passport. You go ahead and do all your fingerprinting, all that fun stuff, like when you go and get your green card. I mean, <clears throat> the government has all of this information scattered everywhere. I want it gathered up and stored on the CIA supercomputer that had a thousand copies of myself. 
you know, they can go ahead and they can determine any bonuses the government should be giving you for any reason. Uh, you know, who cares if they pay a lot more taxes? Uh, that free money, but you're working for it, you're not stealing, stealing it from other people. I have a problem with the government taking money from other people to give to people for free. Why? I hate working. I wouldn't, I don't mind doing surveys and basic stuff, tell you about myself. You know, if I, if that got me money, I'm not talking about like, I've seen it advertisements for it. For like these survey stuff, but they give a little bit of money. I'm talking like a thousand dollars a day type of money for having copies of yourself. Imagine if you had a thousand copies of yourself. It wouldn't, if each one only got one dollar a day, there's a thousand dollars. You know, you can answer the phone at a lot of different places. And you can do video conferencing with people. You can do the annoying telemarketing job. You don't, <coughs> all you need to do is be on the phone and talk to people. Uh, imagine if we had a thousand digital copies of ourselves. You know how much money every person could get? Forget taking money from the rich. Make everyone rich. The easiest way to make everyone rich is to give a thousand copies of themselves. The government likes to choose the number a thousand for any reason. JFK, Ronald Reagan, Yang, they all want to give me a thousand. Why don't you give me a thousand copies of my stuff? I don't want a thousand dollars a month. I want a thousand copies of my stuff. You know, uh, <coughs> why, why take money from the rich and give to the other rich so you can give a little bit of money to the poor? Why don't you give the poor a way to make our own money? We can't work, but you know, I can go ahead and I can enter a survey on a phone. I went, I went a whole month without my cell phone. I started to freak out. I do not think we should have to pay so much money for a cell phone. I'm told that we are recorded by some private company that, for all I know, keeps our information over in China, where the communists can take control of it. And whoever, there's a couple of people out there I watch on the internet, and like, I want people to understand that we were invaded by the Nazis. And if you don't, that's why I have 1,000 copies of myself so I can keep up on the information because it was so hard to find someone to go ahead and read up on the government on this day. And so I can learn that after World War II, Operation Paperclip was the invasion of the Nazis over here. We had the Nuremberg trial, which nothing really happened too much. But if you look, most of the Nazis are in Hollywood. They even kind of made a movie about it, where the Nazis and China took, uh, Japan took over. But realistically, it's more like the Nazis and Chinese. The Nazis get America, and the Chinese are trying to take over the rest of the world. But we finally have a president that's standing up for the country. I've never seen so many people fight against a president. 
I mean, I am really hoping the end of the Federal Reserve comes soon. I mean, I like my money every month that helped me. I'm glad I paid money into Social Security, but it's really horrible only getting a thousand dollars a month. If I had a thousand copies of myself, I could make a lot more money. I could afford to do other stuff. If everyone's rich, the whole world will be better. Then people would just waste, waste money on stuff. I think I'd be a lot nicer when you can just buy stuff and give away stuff to see what could you have so much money. I understand the story. <coughs> <coughs> want to keep their money because that's why they got super rich because they kept all their money. But when you just give away money and stuff, it makes a lot, you feel really good inside. But, you know, it's not possible to do all the time because money is a finite research. But I'm trying to get make money be obsolete like it is in Star Trek. You know, they they just have the computer everywhere that they can talk to. They have a little communicating by why have a communicating by why not have a digital cell phone with four cameras on the front so it gets almost a straight mental image of your face when you're doing it. And uh, the more information it gets from you, the more information it can use to make your copies exactly the same as you. You know, that way we won't have to worry about robot slavery. You're allowed to tell yourself what to do. You know, the whole way it lives by itself and you you put your the your copy of your intelligence into a, a, another clone. Did we create it or what? I mean, uh, I can't verify everything I've seen on the internet, but you know that's why I want a thousand copies of myself, so I can go ahead and research all the different stuff I see. I. I'm sick of relying on other people. I want to be able to do it myself. And the only way I can understand how I can do it by myself is if I go ahead and into the government to use a super computer and make a thousand copies of myself. I remember we had this government, government program called the Life Log. It goes ahead and tracks all your information, all your data. You go ahead and put a lot of basic stuff and it gathers everything about you. So it goes on the internet and collects everything. And since a government computer, it will have access to the government back files and you can get all the information from the government that has by you. If it's all in one place, then you're able to go ahead and prove and say what the government supposedly knows about you. It cracks everything to assume is whatever wrong. I mean, because a lot of people didn't agree with the nasty way our government was going. And it was so freaking obvious. I mean... But they're not teaching you anything in public school because they want stupid slaves. Uh, an armed slave is a dangerous slave. Just arm your slaves. Okay, that is a really dumb idea. You know, I would rather have digital copies of my stuff. 3D holograms, 3D cameras. You know, why are we, why are we the only copy of ourselves? If we have 
multiple copies of our stuff. We have cameras almost everywhere. So we can go ahead and watch after ourselves and make sure that we are safe. It is better to have access to the security cameras we have everywhere. And you know, have you seen other stuff they can do? They can probably access the security bank video cameras from the ATM so we can watch you walking down the street. You know, that's why I want a government cell phone and with the ability to keep track of yourself so you can go ahead and look and watch every camera and look, you might find one that is following you and you didn't even know it because you can't keep track of everything that's going on in your life. But with a thousand copies of yourself, that will help.